Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Luni, Horst Luni. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster. And today we taste the Ben Romach. That's an exclusive bottle, isn't it? Yes, it's a whiskey.de exclusive. And actually it's our batch number two. We already had one of these. Uh -huh. So now we get a second batch. And it's uh, roughly 11 years old. It's from 2011 and bottled in 2022. 48% ABV, uh, first filled cherry and bourbon cask. So quite quite a bottling. Yeah, Ben Romach is a distillery owned by the family, which also owns the independent bottler garden in McPhail. Um, they take care of the whiskey as an independent bottler is able to. And therefore, these are, well, more or less handcrafted whiskies with a special care of casks and a subtle amount of smoke in it. So there mm. always should be some PPM of smoke in the Ben Romach whiskies. And uh, I read on the back of the card box that they now use completely first fill casks. Mm. Nice. What are they doing with the cask afterwards? They sell it? different I distilleries think Gordon McPhail they <laughs> buy spirits so they can mature the spirit for different brands or something else yeah probably yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I would say so yeah, yeah. so this mm. is just the intro mm -hmm. and the the appearance changed so now they have this wonderful fat uh, red Ben Romark on it as the uh, letters on the distillery as well are in this extremely red mm -hmm. and uh, in former times the warehouse door warehouses doors uh, had to be red as well mm -hmm. for knowing where you can enter this forbidden area uh, <clears throat> and so this fire red is very prominent in distilleries yeah, mm -hmm. I like it oh, yeah, a lot of distilleries point. still have their doors red it's uh, it came from from the law and then it moved to a uh, yeah very traditional yeah as well as the uh, the manholes uh, oh, some the of them sills, they had to be colored as well yeah mm. yeah I think there's a little smoke in it isn't it mm -hmm. five six seven ppm not much just a little bit aromatic. A little intense in the nose, so I feel the 48%. Well, it's the first I have today. A little sweet, a little honey. Yeah, what do you have? Yeah, the first thing that came to my mind is a uh, mm, fresh fruitiness with a bit of a side on the red fruits like even a bit of strawberry but as soon as you mentioned the the smokiness smokiness kicked in for me <laughs> but uh comparing to other distilleries yeah. that have very low um smokiness i would even say less than six like maybe <laughs> two or three so officially they said just in the beginning roughly 20 years ago that they have seven to eight ppm Seven to eight PPM. That's Good. the official from from that time. I don't know if it changed. Yeah. So it's priced uh, in Central Europe at uh, 65, 6490. The more you smell it, the more you get the smoke. <laughs> mm. And the less I have the alcohol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, mm. the nose feels the more underlying tones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Now I have more fruits. Peaches, berries, sherry, lots of sherry now. That, that sherry wasn't present in the nose, mm -hmm. but now it's there dried fruits and a, a prickling oakiness in the aftertaste probably hanging over to a little pepper mm. Mm -hmm. quite quite intense first of all 
48%. Yeah. Kicks in. There is oak. There is fruitiness. There is an, a good amount of smoke. And the taste, I would taste up definitely would say 7 ppm, mm -hmm. maybe even 8 or more. Um, and the smell smelled more like 3, but taste is quite remarkably smoky with a lot of other sm um, smells and aromas and everything going on. I like it. The combination between these first fill cherry and first fill bourbon is, is quite good. Hefty. Now I have a, mm -hmm. a lot of taste on my tongue. Long aftertaste. Mm -hmm. A little peppery in the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. So this was the Ben Romach Germany exclusive batch number two, 2011-2022. Yeah, and that was it. If you like this video, then please uh, like the uh, video and write something in the comments. And thank you very much for watching and see you next time.